There's actually a few things I want to explain to everyone, or um, decipher, decode, whatever you want to consider it. Um, <clears throat> everyone keeps talking about this being the new normal. It's the new normal. This is the new normal. Like, just get used to it. This is the new normal. This is what's going to happen. It's like, what, what's new about this other than the virus and how you people are acting? What's new? Can we can we explain that? Because um, as a person in the army, I've had to have the, the smallpox, uh, typhoid, uh, so much crap, so much crap. I was a medic, like I had to give people shots all the time, all the time, knowing uh, when you take uh, the anthrax vaccine, it's not a fucking vaccine, it's a treatment. It's when you got anthrax, that's what you take. Okay, that's what happens. It's it's confusing that if this happened how they say it happened and it's a highly mutatable virus and you have people like Bill Gates coming in going, hey, we're just going to give you this little, this little shot. It's going to have a tracker in it where we know you can do it. A tracker's probably going to tell them if you're up to date, if you're out of date. That's just like uh, a, a human database a body database, a vaccine database in each personal individual, and you could tell who does that. And if you try to do some shit like that, I promise I'm going to act the ass. I'm going to act the ass. I'm going to be so crazy. I'm just going to be like, why? Ain't nobody going to be able to stop me. Like, not even in a bad sense, but ain't nobody going to be able to stop me. And I'm not warning anybody. I'm letting everybody know. The, the, the nation is retracting. The, this is the new normal thought. That what Obama did for eight years was he got the left and he got the right and then he took the left way the fuck over here and he ain't even near the extreme as trying to go like they're trying to go way the fuck over there but uh you know it's uh and actually they're not trying they are this is happening like we're we're to a point where we're just ch -ch 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 shoveling out money and especially now that Trump's actually like Got some trade deals and shit going our way. It's weird that the Clintons was in and all these people was in and the worst shit happened possible for trade, for the nation. Like shit left. You just couldn't afford it. You just couldn't start a business. Why? Because you got to have like $10,000 up front just for some bull crap. And it's like, man, everybody's like, man, you know, it's whatever. I'll, I'll do something illicit. I'll, I'll make my money some other way. That's just what people do. That's what people are thinking. That's what people are... That's what's happening. It's, it's, you've starved America to a point. And right now, that is, you are trying to starve the economic America to cause how many ever people, to, I've heard of people in freaking, like, Kentucky that's fucking working still and knowing, oh, they just approving everybody down here, unemployment, getting it too. And I'm working currently. Like, the system is just so overwhelmed that this is just part of the plan. It's just part of the plan to destroy. Destroy what all our grandfathers and great-grandfathers and great-great-grandfathers and henceforth, such as much as you want. Great-grandmothers, there's people that were nurses that did so much. Back in the old days, you're like, oh, I want to be on the battlefield now. And it's like, yeah, because there ain't no fucking front lines, really. So please, I'm sorry. Please, help us out. Help us out immensely. Which is gaining a backbone. Like, who didn't see this happening with Bernie? Uh, choke artist. That's all he is. All he was there to do, get more money. Like, this dude's sitting at his house right now, probably paying some whatever to touch on him. You know, it's... And you can say whatever, but that's not ludicrous. That's not out of thought. That's not, because there's a bunch of weird motherfuckers on this planet. And if anybody hasn't noticed that, Open your eyes a little bit. Put down your phone a little bit. You know, connect to reality a little bit. I feed the birds during the winter, and I love it because it's always just like you can hear nature. You can feel it. We've killed it. Everybody's trying to defend China while they're fucking 
have the pollution on the planet. Hey, the planet's doing better. Why? Because for a long time, China wasn't functioning. They're like, oh, well, America's doing better because we've slowed down too. No, motherfucker, when you have people polluting like that and they stop, the residuals happen. If a volcano erupts in Greenland, does it affect flights in America? It fucking could because the world's turning that damn way. Please. That's like if this was a true issue. I didn't want to speak on it, but this was a true issue. And it was like that, and it was like airborne, airborne. Like, it would just rotate with the fucking planet. Like, ain't that how it works? Or would gravity hold it? Or like, just asking questions for friends. That's all I've been doing. I've been talking and communicating and being around and like, not even instilling thoughts in people's heads because it's easy. It's easy to push shit on people. It's easy to take this little brain, which is half the time not even functioning on actual food and stuff, and then manipulate it and make people. There's jokes and stuff you can do to people. You just ask question, ask question, ask question, ask question. You answer some shit real wrong. Like, what the fuck's wrong with you? Why? Because I've trained you to fucking think like that. Does it not make sense? Does it not make sense? I'm sorry that I'm a little profound, but I'm a little pissed off. I, someone who hates authority, someone who is like, you know, almost the closest thing to an anarchist without being an actual anarchist. Like, and here I am defending bullshit like this. And it's because people are so ridiculous. Right now, the times, it's so ridiculous. Trump done everything. And, and the fucking internet remembers it. All right? All right? Mainstream media can we remember that when you put something out, it goes on fucking YouTube and it's not like uh, Snapchat where it goes away in 10 hours? Okay, it stays. And some people are just pissed off and in all their fucking extra time, all they do is try to contradict you. Just like all you're trying to do is contradict, to get the president to contradict himself. And that's all you're doing. It is the most arbitrary, the most ridiculous, ridiculous things and there's people that are like i could get it i could get it you know in a four-year administration there's been like three things they came out and said trump's fucking gone we got him no we're on like seven thousand do we not agree it is the most funny yet sad because I will have to walk around so many people and listen to people to defend stuff. I know so many people and it's like, I don't watch Emerson. No, I don't watch the news. I get my, my, my information other places. And at night, they're watching Colbert, who's like the cock holster for everyone. You know what I mean? All these people kowtowing, kowtowing. You know why? Because they're bitches. They're bitches. Yeah. Yeah. Fucking pussy bitches. That's it. They think they're going to be something that they think they already are. 